You know what I mean? And, and them, a lot of the talent, they don't want to give them the credit for it. But a lot of the consumer base opens up when they see themselves in it. Mm-hmm. So it, it is black culture, it's black music. But when you see multicultural people participating in it, it becomes broad enough to be something that everybody appreciates and enjoys on the highest level. And M is a big part of it. It's like you had guys that were impact, impacted in different ways, like even Vanilla Ice impacted, right? But it wasn't creditable. Sure. That wasn't, yeah, it wasn't that like homegrown and creditable. M is really from this, like he's really from Detroit and right. had these hardships and experiences. If you say, ain't much difference from the trailer park and the projects, man. No, of course not. And yeah. let's speak on him for a minute, right? So he's been one of the most controversial rappers, to your point, ever. And yeah. for all these years, he's been your close friend, and you depend, you defend him all the time in those controversial yeah. moments. What's your relationship like with yeah. him these days? I love him to death. That's my boy. I don't care what, what happens. You know, like, the in my experience, like, like him... Uh, Dre, Jimmy, and Paul Rosenberg was able to come to uh, to London when I did Wireless Fest. Mm -hmm. So I was out there. So they came for my birthday to hang out, and we got a chance to kick it. But I um, I talked to him. You know, I just call him randomly, or I text to see what's up, just randomly. See, but him is like a um, I don't know. I put him next to my grandmother. Wow. And I'm gonna tell you why because he 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 never. It was never a point that I had confusion going on that, and for artists, the most vulnerable point for us is confusion, right? Because it's not, you have money, you have things around to comfort you, but when you're in a space where there's there's confusion, like you can't even figure out what direction to write in. You can't figure out what to do to, and then you don't feel good at that point. It's, It's like, it's just a low point. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in, and we got 50 Cent speaking on his relationship with Eminem. You gotta respect it. Uh, 50's always spoke high at Elm. You know, there's never been a situation where, you know, they doubted their relationship or he felt like there was some type of tension there. You know, 50's never talked down on Elm or said anything sideways about Elm the same way that Elm is about Dre. You know, that's definitely dope considering that they've been together for over 20 years and all that. So, you know, got to give a salute to that. And he also speaks on the fact that, you know, Eminem's definitely brought in hip hop for sure. You know, being white and being from a trailer park. And, you know, he says it's the same as the projects. And I got to agree because, you know, when you come up poor, you're always going to have poor people problems, you know, whether that's drugs, violence. I don't care if it's in a trailer park neighborhood or the hood, you know, it's, gonna be the same thing going on and in fact he came from that you know he really came from detroit so you know he got his just dudes battling doing what he had to do you know so he's definitely earned a spot in my top 10 favorite of all time now i'm not gonna sit here and say you know he's like my top three or you know my favorite rapper you know when he first came out he was definitely scorching shit he was on fire you know uh my name is, you know, that's the first single I remember hearing from him and that um, exact, I forget the I am, whatever you say I am, that was just insane. You know, uh, what do you say to somebody you hate? Anybody trying to bring trouble your way? Like to me, that was in, and was in his prime, but it seemed like he kind of fell off once the, you know, drug things started happening and, you know, he made recovery, you know, uh, he started getting a little bit better, but, you know, I can't really listen to no new Eminem. You know, he got the whole voice change thing. The subject matter is different. You know, uh, it, it's just not the same for me. Like, he does a lot of super lyrical rap now, and sometimes you can say some cringy stuff. Like, uh, I remember he had a line saying something about he'll make it rain, dear like talking to a girl saying, I forget the context of the line, but rain and deer to me, it was just corny. 
and he tends to do that a lot you know you have like a whole lot of corny lines and you know that's just what happens when you try to be lyrical and you try to force metaphors all the time and things like that that's not really my cup of tea so you know i won't really be banging no new eminem but you know he definitely does his things with features you know uh, i love that record uh no love with lil wayne and drop the world and you know remember when he came out with drake that was definitely dope so every now and then he definitely does things that you know blow your mind but as far as listening to a whole album inside the car probably not but let me know how y'all feel about it you know y'all still got elm in y'all's top five if y'all do, don't let me know. And if you don't, is it because of his current material or, you know, you just never had him in to begin with? Cause you know, I remember going to school and dudes would be like, you bugging for having him in your top. I'm like, you gotta ignore the radio singles and listen to the album. But anyway, let me know in the comments, of course, if you like the video, you know what to do, make sure you like and subscribe.